Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Jill is not doing so good. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Jill is infected, so we need to find a vaccine. Got everything in here for now. Damn it. I know you're not dead. Okay, maybe you are. You definitely are. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials of new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Yeah. You're down for the count. In you come, madam. Now, why, th why the knife, Carlos? Yeah, I didn't think you were dead. You were moving a bit too... of unlocking. Yes, can you remember you're there. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Grab that. Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their de delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is the isolation wing, isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> Open sesame. No voice match found. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. <laughs> Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. No voice match found. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice match found. Hmm. 
Alright. Uh, that's the end of that. It's the simple things in life, you know? Now, hi. Come on, you can't fool me. Another one of those, nice. Oh, noisy tractors. Can't go that way. Been a while since I've done the hospital section. But I did not forget you. Alright, nothing there. Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hyperphagia, whatever that is. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic, still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. Unfortunately, it was already too late. Right. Let's mix some of these up. Ditch those. Keep you... You don't have anything else, do you, Carlos? Oh, I'll have that, though. Nurses Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we're giving up. We've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9pm. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and all 
All we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help. Those are those. Memos for administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Excuse me. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is uh, recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Done all I can in here for now. No, nothing there for me to collect. That's fair enough. Okay, not this way. No, not f not for you anyway. Oh yes, I almost forgot about you. Not sure how that helps, but I'll take it. Got the key. Oh yeah, I can't get there yet. Have to do that with Jill. first note about a tape recording Dakota I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B his research assistant took it one of the one of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Hello there. What's that noise? What? Where'd 
did you come from? I am fairly certain you are not there. Oh. Grenade, yes, thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. Right, that's clear. Oh god, what was the code for you? I think it was only two, was it? No. Nine, three? Oh my god, yes! I right, can't go through you, can I? you can't go that way should be able to get into this locker room now Let's equip this, because I think we're going to need it. This is a nice callback. Oh, ain't you pretty? Agree. Oh, yeah, I can't. Jill has to finish these rooms off. I really need to save our grenades for. No, there might be more grenades downstairs. So yeah, before I deal with those two, I'll, I'll head downstairs. Nothing? Oh, maybe you appear after I get what I need to get. Oh, let's take the quick way down.
that out the way. Yes. Lost items. To all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and it's unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it, deposit it in the nurse's station safe. The safe combination is 93. Kate, we already know we know that now. Thank you for your cooperation. Excellent. Now we can head back up. Deal with those hunters. Yes! Two for one! <laughs> I love getting value for my grenades. I've got the tape. Okay. Everything is loaded up correctly. No need to deal with that last hunter up upstairs. Just take the shortcut. Oh, come on! Really? Oh yay, people breathing their engines, love it! All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard! I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bed pen changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Wow. Wow. What a douche. 
I agree. One hundred percent of you there, Carlos. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? You think? Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September the 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be ex exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new Special Medical Zone, SMZ. Attending will be M Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6pm, the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honoured if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for the new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after-party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. What lovely people. Ooh, what was that? More bullets, thank you. Email from Nathaniel Bard to Greg Tester. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of, of a vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail. It's not... It's And it's not for my family... Not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer... The Umbrella Corporation engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. I know they don't want me to. And that's the sound of Nikolai arriving. God, Joe knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. <laughs> Who needs security codes where you can just punch a monitor to unlock doors? There it is. All right, Joe. Hang tight. I'm a coming, Jill. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Fuck 
fucking die! Jesus, forgot, forgot how much of a bullet sponge those things are. But I want to save that last grenade. You know what? I'll leave you for now. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Here we go. Pretty sure you'd have to find a find a vein to inject that into, not just randomly poke. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a doctor. Come on, this shit better work. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention, all citizens. Contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Anything else? No? Alright then. Right. Grab this. Uh, get rid of the knife. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry point is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. All right, here we go. Call of duty moment. Whoa, hello. This is a bit slightly more uh, stressful when you're not using infinite weapon infinite weapons.
Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. No! Come on. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, Jesus, that was tense. Seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stalled for time. Ballsy motherfucker. There he is. You're all good, Jill. Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news.
good news. It's over now. The city's safe. It is, I'm afraid, Jill. Right, uh, let's ditch the grenade launcher for now. handgun that I never use anything else in here? no morning sunshine you saved my life I sure as shit didn't that was all Carlos he carried you here and he treated you himself crazy bastard where is he? he went underground Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. This is not Jill's first rodeo. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos. So expect trouble. Anything in here? No, Carlos has pretty much cleared this room. Alright. Good job, Jill. Really is the most powerful handgun ever made. Right. Let's get that pre locked. Pre unlocked, I should say, rather. Magamo, thank you. Okay. Can't remember when we encounter the hunters, but getting out my shotgun just in case. in the same way.
Okay. There we go. Stay down. Excellent. Right. Let's go grab the other right. sick room, treatment room, linen room. I saw you. Well, actually, I heard you. Okay, next, these two rooms. Yes, we're officially done with the lockpick now. Like I said before, I think it's more guaranteed to cure a headache, Jill, but meh, you do you. I'm pretty sure we've got one more hunter to face, so let's get the shotgun back out. I think I can make more mag ammo with you, so I'll save you for that. How is it? 
that no one in the hospital ever noticed all this. Need to know basis, Jill. The near limitless funds of the Umbrella Corporation, I imagine, paid off quite a lot of people. And I suspect others may have mysteriously disappeared. the fanny packs. Elevator notice. To all employees, we have identified an issue with the electrical box where the concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub-generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Cool. Anything else in here? No. All right, let's drop some items off. You, you, no. You. There we go. And I don't think we will end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Simulator. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.